Middle housing is a duplex, a triplex, a fourplex, a townhouse, so you know, a little skinny house on its own lot, um, or what's called cottage clusters, so that could be a, between five and 12 little houses built around a courtyard. Um, and middle housing, it, it's got that term, um, middle housing or missing middle housing um, from an architect. So the idea was that if you look at all the housing types that used to be built in cities um, in the 20s, 30s, 40s, there was a whole variety of housing. And then when zoning uh, became really popular by the end of the 40s, most cities had adopted zoning that separated uses and dictated what types of housing could be built. You really don't see that type of housing anymore. You see single family and you see multifamily and maybe mixed use buildings, but you don't really see anything in between. So the state um, passed a law a few years ago that said all cities have to allow this type of housing. And so Salem does now. So we've adopted those ordinances and we allow it. Um, I think the thing that grabbed people's attention with the new law is that we have to allow it in areas that are generally zoned for single family. So if you look at our zoning map, you'll see that the majority of land in the city is yellow. That indicates single family zoning. Um, and generally that means you could have one house. That's what a single family means. It's not really dictating who lives in the house. It just means one house on the property. Um, and you could have an accessory dwelling unit that the city had already allowed that or an ADU. Um, now under the new regulations on any of those lots, you can have a duplex. And then if the lot's big enough, um, you can have a triplex uh, or a fourplex or quadplex. Um, and then you could also instead develop again those little cottage clusters. Or you could have a really small lot and do townhouses. The zone is still called single family, although when you'll look, there's other housing types allowed now. And you can still do single family, and obviously there's no requirement that any person you know, would have to convert their house to anything that it's not today. We are uh, proposing new regulations with our Salem that new subdivisions will have 15% of their units be middle housing. Um, but we want to ensure that some new housing types are interdispersed in our newer subdivisions where we have that kind of control and, and can ask for that thing, kind of thing um, to help, you know, one, to break up the income levels in a neighborhood, um, to provide people opportunities to rent in maybe newer, nicer areas. State law and the city regulations um, allow middle housing anywhere that you know was previously zoned single family, um, and the state law says that new subdivisions can't pro prohibit uh, middle housing through CCNRs or covenants and restrictions on the property. But there's a lot of subdivisions that were already created that have existing CCNRs that maybe prohibit a duplex, triplex, etc. And the state law doesn't override that. So one thing I would say is that although the city does not enforce CCNRs and we would in fact give you a building permit to convert your house to a duplex, um, you might want to make sure that you don't have CCNRs on your property that pre prevent that because some somebody like a neighbor for example could you know take you to court or stop your development. 